all of you are gonna die alone. Are you kidding me? I'm using the bathroom. Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're filming episode nine of the Sims 4 Rags to Riches Tiny Living Edition series that I have on my channel. If you guys haven't seen the first episodes leading up to this episode, I will link them up here or down below so you can check those out before watching this video. In the last episode, the last few episodes actually have been build episodes. We were trying to finish the Mansion Baron Aspiration and we finally did. The build portion of this series is finished. Throughout this series we've been focusing really hard on trying to get all of her money obviously it's a rags to riches challenge very minimal aspects of the series have been about her social life so i'm going to finish off this series with focusing on her friendships her relationships and i want to find someone for olive to settle down with grow old with so yeah i just finished filming this episode i'm happy with where the series is going from here on out so let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section down below and let's get into it okay so i don't know about you guys but the coffee grind for me lately during this like quarantine situation has been real i've just been like chugging coffee all day <laughs> but this is where we left off this was the final build that we concluded the last episode with i'm super happy with it it was pretty challenging i'm not gonna lie for me to um not only build something cute but spend all of the money necessary to complete the challenge the mansion baron aspiration is finished as you can see here we can spend some of our points if we want to as well but i think the first thing that we're going to do is send home Alice and Alice has been with us for maybe a little under half of this journey. She has been our best friend throughout this entire series but she does have a family so I'm gonna send her home. I think it's time for Alice to leave us. So I'm gonna have her go on her phone. You can see she's all upset. She doesn't want to leave. We're gonna have her split from household and move. It's time Alice. You can go back home to your family. I'm sure they miss her. <laughs> oh they didn't even say goodbye. So Alice is back home to her family. Look at her husband. He's like oh welcome back. She can come over here and and like embrace him she's like man it's good to be home oh this is actually adorable I am happy I love Alice so much <laughs> all right she is definitely my favorite townie after all of this all right so we still have like the penny pixies trait here so it looks like we're just about to catch some cash it is six o'clock on a Friday her needs are great she's doing just fine over here so I think I'm gonna send her out on the town but I want to turn off the like fame thing because Olive is very humble despite everything that she has in her life now she does not ever forget where she came from so I could not see her running around with this Alice is already calling us to hang out okay we're gonna go there but I want to turn off her fame thing that's what I was getting at I don't want to I don't want her to walk around like sparkling with the fame glow I don't think she would be about that but we're gonna go hang out with Alice in the city I think I think we're going to a talent show okay fancy oh my god look at Alice what is happening she's like merged with this guy I'm gonna have her meet some more people I don't really care who she ends up with in the beginning of the series she was kind of feeling Brant if you guys remember how that went then we were dating Angela so I don't think I don't think she really has like a preference of like who she should be with I kind of play all of my sims games like this if you guys haven't noticed already I don't really care who they end up with it's just whoever they kind of mesh with I've always played my game like that I don't know yeah see like this is not happening this is not I mean she looks great though this is weird seeing all of like this like I need to shut this down right now I don't even want them to like treat her like a celebrity all right we'll let her have her second here okay the poses she's getting though girl look at her she's like hell yeah I accomplished my shit hold up this guy just came up on the mic and looks like he's kind of like serenading us here I just actually was talking to this guy for a brief second she was kind of just getting to know him and I had my camera off but his traits are evil cat lover and child of the ocean everyone that olive meets for some reason just ends up not being right for her in some ways look at him like staring at her he looks like he's like singing to her he's been doing this like the entire time olive loves it oh my god look at him like talking to her i mean this could be a thing but 
First of all, he's a young adult, and we're 10 days away from being an elder, or six days away from being an elder. So he's a little young for Olive here, but I mean, I mean, if someone's just gonna serenade her at the bar like this, <laughs> this has just been happening the whole night. I think we're gonna go somewhere else because everyone just ditched this place. I didn't even, where did Alice go? I haven't seen her here in a little bit. I mean, she could end up with Caleb. <laughs> That would be, that'd be interesting. We're gonna stay in the city and we're gonna go somewhere else. So I think I'll maybe send her to like a karaoke bar. I'm just sending her alone to the karaoke bar. This is all about her meeting new people here. Where is everybody? It's like 11.30 on a Friday night and there's nobody here. Maybe more people will show up eventually. This is like really, really dead. Why is this child coming in here? Oh, Brant is here actually. Okay, we haven't talked to Brant since he didn't show up to our birthday. So maybe, should we have a conversation with him? He looks like he's kind of giving us a cold shoulder. Lilith? Oh, that's Lilith the tour, okay. <laughs> the teen passed out at the bar. Oh boy. So she's kind of automatically been taking to Lilith Vitor. We've already had a friendship with another Lilith, which didn't work out, and we're sitting beside Brant. Okay, Lilith is gone out the door. Well, she is creative. We were getting to know her. Things were going well, and she just left. She is a vampire, uh, so can't really be surprised there, but I think we're gonna talk to Brant. I kind of want her to chat with him a little bit. I think we're just gonna give him like a little like, nice to see you. Like we're not gonna be shady. We're just gonna be like, oh like, good to see you. Like, hey, how is it going? Just kind of like, how have you been? It's been a while. Um, I don't want them to have hard feelings. I don't think they're gonna be as close as they once were, but I don't want there to be any hard feelings. So they're kind of just like joking about old times. I am happy that this happened. I would be upset if Olive didn't make up with Brant because he was the first friend that we had in the series. So I just didn't want there to be any hard feelings between them. But it's getting late. I think we're going to go home. This guy over here is talking about us and Brant was like, see, you're doing great. You're doing great, kiddo. So we're going to go home. I think this has been a decent little outing here. Still haven't met anyone. I mean, she was kind of get al getting along with Lilith for tour, so maybe we could explore that a little bit. She hasn't even really had time to like enjoy her house. Like it's pretty much just been her painting outside. I'm kind of excited to see her live in here. We've built this tiny but huge mansion and she hasn't even been using it. So I, I want to keep up on the gardening as well. I'm still going to have her paint and stuff. I just don't want her to be doing it all day, every day. All right, it's Saturday morning. We're up. I'm going to have her tend the garden a little bit because some stuff back here is getting a little... uh rotten. I mean, you know what? I think I'm gonna hire a gardener because she's done this her entire life and yes, she does enjoy doing it. However, we're getting old. We can't be out here in the heat doing this. So we've hired a gardener. We're gonna go travel out somewhere, enjoy the afternoon, see who we meet out. So we're gonna go, maybe we'll go fishing. I haven't sent her fishing in a long time. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, what's going on over here? Maybe we can go roller skating. I'm gonna see if there's anyone here that we know, anyone that we would want to talk to. Who is this? Wow, he's like real good at at skating here. <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, there's Lilith. We're just gonna go right past her. I mean, we don't really have hard feelings with Lilith either. It's just, again, not really someone that we're going to continue being friends with at this point. It's just long gone. We do have Lilith. She's just kind of like chilling here with this guy. Maybe we'll come and talk to her, actually. I want her to come skating with us. We're gonna come over here and chat with Lilith. She's uncomfortable from whatever conversation that she just had with that guy and she's being weird she is a vampire so we're gonna get to know her actually all we know about her is that she's creative this guy is back the teen that just made her uncomfortable has come back and she looks very unimpressed he's flirty that's probably why she's so uncomfortable who is freaking out back here <laughs> this girl is like losing her shit oh Ooh, awkward. Lilith has this like cutesy yet like badass kind of vibe. She's like got this cute little face but like you would not fuck with Lilith. She would probably kick your ass. <laughs> so she is active so we know that she's creative and active so we already have quite a bit in common with her other than the fact that she's a vampire. Oh my god that girl. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this park right now. I honestly can't even keep up. Bella Goth is a fan. That would be like that's my goal in life. <laughs> this is so weird. These girls are back here freaking out and 
this guy's taking pictures of us this is not the life we're used to we're gonna sit and chat over here <laughs> Try and get away from all of this. Oh, how cute is this? They're just having a pleasant little conversation here in the park. This is adorable, honestly. I want to know her third trait. We're just going to keep getting to know her. Bella Goth needs to relax here. This girl is the best. I don't know who she is. Skylar Bromberg, but like, I am obsessed with her. She's old as shit. She's rocking this blue mohawk and this crazy little cute outfit here. <laughs> She's just freaking right on out. But we learned that she's outgoing as well. So honestly, things are looking kind of good with Lilith. If Bella would like get out of here, that would be great. Because I think Olive kind of likes her. Okay, Angela can probably sense that something's going on because we have Lilith. The other Lilith is over here working. She can probably see Olive over here with Lilith Vitor. And she probably just texted Angela and was like, you'll never guess who's here and who she's with. I'm gonna bring them skating. They're gonna go skating over there. This is like really adorable. Bella, like get out. She's never done this before so I'm kind of scared to see that she's gonna wipe right out. Oh, she's done. She's over it. She's like, that's not for me. We're gonna get her back in there. I want to see her kill this. Okay, so I sent her back in here. She's, I think she's gonna come right back out. Oh yeah, she's not a fan of this. She doesn't like it. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, Lilith obviously can't relate. She's back there like skating it up. Get out! Who are you? Are you kidding me? I'm using the bathroom. Oh, she's gonna lose it. That guy just like full on came in when we were using the washroom. Okay. Lilith has been over here skating for like hours. I'm like trying to get her to come out so that we can keep hanging out with her, but she won't. So she's getting hungry. I really don't want to come over here and order food from this Lilith, but we might have to do it. So this could be like full circle. Maybe we'll come over here, talk to her. And this is definitely awkward. I can like feel the awkwardness. We had that one conversation with Lilith outside the store before, but she kind of mocked us. So it didn't really go that well. That was very awkward. We're just gonna go eat our french fries over here. Lilith has finished. Um, her little skate here. So I think I want to go talk to her and then maybe we can go over by the pond and just kind of keep like Just kind of keep talking to her. Oh, she showed up on her bike. She's got a bike apparently She's a vampire and she can fly but she's got a bike. Um, okay Well, we're gonna continue talking to her. We had a good time with her today. I think I might start flirting with her Oh my god, the flirting is going well, but this guy needs to get out of here that's going good. Okay, yay. We're gonna ask if she's single, actually. Oh my god, please be single. This would just be Olive's luck. This would be her luck. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. I don't know what I would have done. I would have just given up. Olive, you're gonna die alone. The only thing is that Lilith is a young adult, so I think if anything were to happen, I would have to age her up into an adult just because, I don't know. I don't want Olive to end up being an elder and then Lilith is just like still very young. I keep trying to like cut these people out of the frame because they're ruining the moment here. Can you not? Olive is like, do you need something? There are people everywhere. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go back here. Hopefully they don't follow us. No, dude. This guy followed us. Go away. I'm scared like Lilith is a vampire. Is she gonna, is she gonna bite us? So they're just stargazing by the water here. This guy is still here. Not leaving apparently, but we're just gonna ignore him. Oh my god, please leave. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to invite her over, I think. He's he just passed out at her feet. I hate this guy. I hate all these people that keep following us around. I get that she's a celebrity, this is what happens in the game, but like trying to have a moment. Trying really hard to have a moment. This is so cute, and then this guy's here. Oh, did he leave? Yes, he's leaving. Phew. They've been here together like all night. It's like three, almost four in the morning and things are going really well for them. We just became good friends with Lilith. So I think we're going to try and take it to the next level. See what happens. Can I have their first kiss here? Oh yes, it's going to happen. So cute. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I really want things to go well for Olive for the rest of her life. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ask her to be girlfriend before she leaves because it is like almost the morning. Yay! 
Yay. 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 So we are dating Lilith. This has been the cutest little outing ever, but I think they're going to call it a night. We're going to go home. Lilith is there just doing push-ups. Actually, while I have her here, I want to give her a little makeover. We're going to go modify her and cast really quick. All right. So she likes the heavy makeup. Obviously, she is a vampire. Her aspiration is to have a vampire family. I don't know how likely that is oh, her vampire mode is scary i don't know what skin details i want to use on her i feel like she has a very cutesy face but again she is like kind of a badass this one looks similar enough to like what it was before and it doesn't hide her mole which i like so we're gonna remove this makeup here i'm gonna fix her brows and her hair we're gonna give her a new hairdo we're gonna go like that we could go pretty thick with these because her makeup was so intense i don't know about these brows though or maybe i could give her the one with like the we could give her that i don't mind that on her for her hair she's got bangs so i feel like i need to leave the bangs we definitely wouldn't have this going on i don't want to change her too too much she has like a doll face but like you know that she's scary as hell we could go with this this isn't too far off from what she had before or this is cute too is this too girly i gotta put the makeup on her to like really know because she has like strong makeup so we're gonna do the whole shebang we're gonna do eyes are gonna be really dark she had like black before it was like that Okay, Ooh, I'm excited. She's so cute. Okay, we'll go like that. But for her cheeks, she didn't have too much going on, but I want to give her like something. Maybe we'll, we'll just go like something like this. Just a little subtle, just a little bit of pink. And then for the lips, I'm thinking kind of like a gloss or something like this. Like something like that. Oh my God, she's freaking adorable. Oh, she had like purpley before, I think. Maybe we'll do that. Especially with her eyes being so dark, I don't want the lips to be like crazy dark. I need to get her like a vampire-y outfit here. I'm gonna try not to stray too much from what she actually had on. So she had boots on, we could go like this, keep her with like funky pants. And then for her top, such a sweet little evil vampire. Or what about that? Maybe I could just do all black. I mean, vampires and black kind of go hand in hand, right? And I'm kind of loving this outfit. Okay, what about for like hot weather and stuff? Oh wow, we've got quite the outfit going on here. Maybe we can go with like this for hot weather. Uh, I mean cold weather and then I'll fix her makeup again. This can maybe be her cold weather and then for her hot weather because she's gonna be in Strangerville if she's hanging out with Olive. Maybe we can go with like something like this and then oh I'm thinking maybe like some stockings that with like some boots. Yeah kind of obsessed with her. There that can be her hot weather. Uh, for swimwear she's gonna be swimming a lot too if she's coming over to see Olive. So we're gonna have to give her her eyelashes back. Or maybe this. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. For nighttime, we'll let her keep basically what she had on. We'll just change her pants. Okay, I think this is pretty much gonna do it for Lilith. I think I might end the episode here. So this is her little makeover here. I think she looks so cool. I'm really happy about this situation that's happening with Olive and Lilith. Even though she is a vampire, so we're gonna see how that goes hopefully she doesn't turn us but yeah we're gonna end it here let me know what you guys think about this episode are you happy about Lilith and Olive let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see what happens in the next episode all right guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and leave any comments or suggestions you may have in the comment section down below if you're looking for more series to watch i will link those down below so you can binge those as well and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye